Health officials have delivered the first shots in the battle against H1N1 in Australia, where volunteers are lining up to become test cases for the new vaccine. People are dying from it, so I'm happy to help out and help everyone find a vaccine or cure. Volunteers will soon be lining up in the U.S. as well. The government announced today clinical trials of the vaccine will start at eight medical centers in early August. We're going to be working far into the night as, it, as other people in the laboratories to really get the answers that we need. This is, is really an intensive push. Adults will be tested first. If it's safe, there will be tests on children who have been hit particularly hard by this virus. The questions are clear. One is, is it safe, at least in the short term? And if so, what is the right dosage and number of doses? We need to ask that question both in healthy young adults, we need to ask the question in elderly individuals, and we need to ask the question in children. Answers should come within weeks. Blood tests will show if the vaccine is effective. We'll have a good idea by measuring the antibodies whether this vaccine is going to work. Some question the government's track record. Ouch. In 1976, the decision to vaccinate 43 million people against a similar strain of flu backfired. The outbreak never materialized and approximately 500 people suffered severe side effects 25 died. We frankly don't know why there was that rare adverse event in 1976. And there's never a 100% guarantee that you're not going to see an adverse event now. So testing the safety and effectiveness of the new vaccine is a race against time to be ready by mid-October for the regular flu season. So many people may wind up getting two flu shots this year, Katie. And Jennifer, I understand the first wave of this vaccine will be recommended for children between the ages of six months and 18 years. And some parents may be a bit nervous about the vaccine itself. As a doctor, what would you tell them? That's an understandable concern, Katie. I, I recently just spoke with Dr. Fauci, and he reported that this vaccine will be tested with extreme scrutiny, especially compared to the 1976 vaccine. They're going to be watching it very closely. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much.